Welcome back to the Dark Mod. All right, last time I played Swing, which is a fun physics-based level, and this time I'm going to play a, I think, longer and definitely serious mission. So, let's give a shot. Uh, let's give In the North a shot. And as thy words are heard by unfortunate souls, will those souls rise up and build wondrous things. Father Grimmore, Braden Church. Ooh, this is really cool. My name is William Steele. Several years ago, a fight with my father caused me to leave Bridgeport to seek my fortune. I traveled north to the town of Braden and entered the service of one Lord Bascom, or Bascombi? I'm gonna go with Bascom, who needed able swordsmen and archers to defend his holdings. Over the years, I faced invaders, local cutthroats, and the unforgiving ice and snow. With everything that's happened, I've all but forgotten what my father and I argued about, so I finally decided it's time to return home. But there's one thing I must do before I leave. A local count named Harkov, a nasty sort, has been bleeding merchants and the gentry alike for protection money. Lord Bascom refused his demands, and Harkov retaliated with a bounty on Bascom's head, a bar of solid gold. No one has made a move yet against Bascom, and I mean to see that no one does. If word were to get out that the gold bar doesn't exist, Harkov's bounty would be worthless. And what better way for it to disappear than for me to steal it out from under the Count's nose? Ooh! I'm gonna steal a bar of gold. Sounds amazing. A few coins here, here and there in the Wailing Wolf flushed out a thirsty old taffer who was once part of Harkov's household. He drew me some fair maps of the place while going on about it being a restored builder church, even warned of ghosts. Oh, great. His tale was most interesting though the thought of encountering ghosts freezes my blood. I'll wait till the sun goes down, then slip in through an old escape tunnel, part of the original church. I need to keep an eye out for Harkov's lieutenant, a rough fellow named Trumbull. Word is, though, that he's getting on in years, so maybe he won't be a problem. The gold bar, and whatever else I can find, will be a nice parting gift from this hard life I've been living up here in the north. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Walk away. Ab abscond? I have no idea what that word means. Gather? <laughs> I like how they changed the word for get. First it's walk away, and then it's abscom. Abscond, and then it's gather. So yeah, 1,000, 2,000, or 3,000 loose. Let's go with medium. Steal the gold bar. Don't kill anyone. Okay, get the gold bar, don't kill anyone, steal 2,000 worth of loot, and get the hell out. Sounds simple enough, let's go. Okay, there we go, that loading screen took like two minutes. Or, okay, maybe one minute, but still, pretty long. Alright, mission loaded. Here we go. Alright, so this is one of the forgotten builder church tunnels. Do I have a map? Uh, I'm probably not even on the map yet. Yeah, I'm not even on the map yet. That's for inside of the place. First floor... Actually, wait, cellar. Second floor, first floor, cellar. Mmm... No. I'm not there yet. So I'm in unmapped territory. Oh yeah, what do I start with? A bunch of water, one fire, a couple ropes, one gas, noisemaker, moss... Okay. Good to go. Well, that's an uplifting sight. Why, hello there. How you doing, skeleton? Oh, you're dead? 
Well, that sucks. Oh, what is this? Ratty, go in through the old builder escape tunnel. The vases in the church nave are all we need. Don't bother with nothing else. Nobody will follow you once you get back into the tunnel. They're all scared of what might be in there. Fear is on our side. I'll look you up when I get back from Bridgeport. Then we can split the loot. Wily. Nobody follow you once you get back into the tunnels. Yeah, how did that work out? Actually, it's possible he wasn't followed. Maybe he was just killed by something that was already in the tunnels? Ooh. This map's got a really, ni a really nice atmosphere already. Just the creepy music and the, the sound of echoing drips. And there might be ghosts. And I know from... I know from past experience in the Thief universe that if there's one thing that's common in the crypts and secret tunnels and underground places of uh, builder churches and whatnot, if there's one common thing, it's spirits and zombies and horrible things like that. Oh, am I already inside? Ugh, what the hell? Uh... There's someone crying. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, I don't think that was a ghost. What does that do? Oh, okay, it can be opened back up. Yeah, let's leave that closed for now. going. I meant to put that out. Why did that get put out? I threw it instead. Whoops. Hmm. He might see me if I go that way. Ah, damn, he got up. There we go. Come with me. Quietly now. Actually, can I grapple onto things when I have a body? I can't. Okay, you go right here. You don't have a key on you, do you? No. So one change that I'm going to be making, by the way, to uh, how I've played previously, is one thing I noticed that I, I didn't like all the thieves, basically, and I was doing it even in the dark mod, the previous missions, is I would get super impatient with my movement, and I kind of like sprint everywhere if I wasn't actively being seen, and I would only, I would mostly only hunker down and go slowly if I was already spotted, which is a really stupid way to play because as soon as as soon as the guards become alerted. They tend to stay in their alert state for a long time, if not forever. So rather than only crouching and going slowly once I've been spotted, and therefore kind of screwing myself, this time I'm going to stay going slow. I might, I might crouch sprint like this, but I'm not going to normal sprint unless I have to. Ugh. Alright, how do you put these things out? Don't you just left-click? 
No. How? F? Oh, F. Okay. I forgot how to put him out. Hold on. Yeah. 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 Uh, whatever. <laughs> Good enough. Wilkins. This is Weltons. Wilkins Weltons. Wow. Those names are unfortunately close. This is Weltons. Return it to him, should he survive. If he doesn't, I'll send it on to his family. One way or the other, make sure it doesn't disappear, else you'll be wishing he never got sick. <laughs> Lieutenant Tumble, or Trumble. Is someone coming? No, there's someone moving, but no, no one's coming. Oh, there's someone sleeping. Let me just put this candle right here. Close enough. Where are you going? Good thing her body falling on the ground didn't make too much noise. Do you have any keys on you? No. Madness. Insanity, as everyone knows, is caused by devils that take over the body. You gotta love old scientific research, or knowledge, or whatever the hell you want to call it. The old understanding of the human body and mind. It was so wonderfully shitty. How do you solve it? Or, you know, what's wrong? Bad humors. How do you solve it? Leeches. There you go. Solves everything. Good job. To rid thyself of these demons. Find a good friend with a steady hand. Give said friend a drill. Oh my god. Drink a great deal of wine. Pass out. Have the friend drill a hole or two in thy head. The demons will rush out of the body, of thy body, through these holes. You know, I, I changed my opinion. That is actually a very good cure for insanity. Yes. It's actually, it's a good cure for everything, including living. Insomnia. If at night thou findest sleep nigh impossible, have a midnight snack. Eat some treacle. Well, that one was less extreme. Fainting. If thou art faffing about in a faint... Is that what is it? Falling about? Faffing about? I think those are L's. Uh, simply set feathers on fire and breathe in the smoke. Oh... Okay. That's a wonderful way to get lung damage. I don't know what the hell that is, but it's probably bullshit. What the hell? What is that? Is that the person's heart? Why is their heart, like, in their neck? Ah, whatever. I don't think there's anything in here, but I want to be sure. Nope. That is not something I can loot. Okay. There's someone just right up there. Let's go. Actually, let me see where I am on the map. I, I'm assuming I'm in the cellar. Um, Infirmary? Yeah, I'm in the infirmary, the bottom right. So this will go up to somewhere.
Alright, where's this? Oh, where are you going? Okay. This place looks like it's been... This place looks like it's exploded. Kitchen... Well? I don't know, what direction did I go to get in here? North. Oh, I see it. Going to the right will lead to the servants' quarters. Going to the left will lead to other places. Alright, let's explore this place first. So much to do. This is the kitchen right up here. Hmm, she might see me. <clears throat> nope. Oh, someone's coming. I'm gonna put her in the toilet. I'm going to put her in the toilet, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but the chance of him coming in here is low, so I have to do it. Oh, face down, okay, face up. There you go, a, a small mercy. Is that... Did people shit in that hole, even though it didn't have a bucket? That is disgusting. She is not going to be happy when she wakes up. That has a lot of knives. Ooh. Oh. Never mind, I, I thought that was the... Like the tip of a golden bottle. This stuff looks so delicious. It's making me hungry. Ooh. Water arrows. Let's go ahead and put these out. Wood under the table. To make a leech of almonds. Leech of almonds? That sounds horrible. What is that? Leeches and almonds? <laughs> uh, take half a pound of sweet almonds and beat them in a mortar. What? Strain them with a pint of sweet milk from the cow. Put to it one grain of musk. Two sweet. Two, spoons of, two spoonfuls of rose water, two ounces of fine sugar, the weight of th three whole shillings of isinglass that is very white, and so boil them, let all run through a strainer, then may you slice the same and so serve it. What? To bake eels. Cut your eels about the length of your finger, season them with pepper, salt, and ginger, and so put them into a coffin with a good piece of sweet butter. Put into your pie great raisins of the sun and an onion minced small, and so close it and bake it. Interesting. He's always putting those out. Yes, come up here. Are you eating a carrot? Do not eat while on duty. This is your punishment. He was eating a carrot. Look at that. Give me that. Give me. Ah. Fine, you can have your carrot. Ooh, here we go. 
I knew I'd find some special wine bottles in the kitchen. Okay. So this is south. Uh, no, west. West will lead to the bell tower. Let's go to the bell tower. up here? Will this be the first floor? I have no idea. Well, I assume if I keep going up, I'm going to hit the bell tower, right? Whoops. Yeah, that was the first floor. That's the second floor. And up here should be the bell tower. Wait, is, is there a third floor? First floor. Uh, it only shows two floors. This place seems kind of creepy. I'm, I'm assuming there's no one up here. Oh, I can't even climb up that. Okay, let's leave that for now. Let's explore the rest of the cellar, and then I will go up, go up to the first floor. Don't want to get ahead of myself. Or above myself. Man, there's a lot to explore. Look at all these levels. I think this is going to be a really long map. Well, you know, if I light it, it's just going to keep going out. Exactly! So don't light them. Ooh, I don't think I ever read that. This kitchen closes at 7. After that, if you want food, get it yourself. Don't come looking for me. If you make a mess, clean up. If you don't clean up, I'll have Lieutenant Trumbull after you. You don't want Lieutenant Trumbull after you. Cook. <laughs> don't piss off Lieutenant Trumbull. Note to self. Well, actually, I think after I steal the gold bar, I'm probably going to piss him off, so... Whoops. Alright, is this going up to the first floor, or what? Uh, I don't think so. Alright, there should be a guard somewhere in here, I just heard him. Okay, here we go. Ooh, whoa, what is that? It's like something I can open. If I light it, it'll just keep going out. Come back here. Who turned out the lights? You know if these are candles, right? They're not controlled by a switch. Ooh, I think he actually lit that one back. Another one for the pile. Oh, is that not money? Oh, I think that's a... a water skin. Yeah, that's not money. 
Okay. That's probably everyone that's down here, I would think. Or nearly everyone. Now, what is behind here? Secret entrance? What is this? Whoops. Oh, that's a dumb waiter. Ah. Okay. Well, I'll leave that there for now. Hello, rat. Get to do some lockpicking. Well, that was easy. Hoo hoo, gold plates. Come here, you little fucker. That was a fucking terrible accent. But I'm still gonna beat you. Can you actually hit them with a the blackjack? I know you can shoot them with an arrow. I don't even know. I might be hitting it, but just doing little damage? I'm not sure. someone. What's over this way? Is this... Wait, that's where I came from, isn't it? Yeah, that's where I came from. Someone moving away from me. Yeah, just a bunch of food storage down here. Nothing too valuable. Wait, was that a wine bottle? No. Oh, I think it might be someone above me. Yeah, lots of food storage. Hmm. Looks like they very poorly tried to close this place off. What is that? Warning! Do not break these boards. We've already replaced them once when an unfortunate maid had too much wine, broke through on the top floor, and fell to her death. That only makes me want to break them more. <laughs> now I'm intrigued. Danger! Steps removed. Hmm. Well, let me explore everything else first. I don't think there's anyone down here. I'm pretty sure that's someone above me. Hmm. Definitely looks like there could be some valuables in here. This basement is really big. I mean, cellar. Where am I? V. North. East. Hmm. That is a really shitty painting. It looks horrible. I, I don't even know what it, it's of. It looks like an island, peninsula, outcropping thing. I guess it is. I'm 
wonderful attention to detail in this map. Or mission. Oh, hi. Do you have anything valuable? I would put this out, but there's a pretty good chance that when I pick it up, it's going to go clink and she's going to wake up. So, poor Percival. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'll miss him so. I can't believe his horse threw him. It's such a kind beast. And just when we were talking about... And just when we were talking about moving away... Cook has been so kind. She says the Count expressed his sadness when hearing the news of Percival's death, and agrees I should rest a bed until I feel better. So thoughtful. The Count may be kind, but he's very strange. He disappears regularly into the chapel, yet no one ever sees him emerge. We must have a nest of mice in the walls. At night I hear strange sounds, like the wind whispering or a branch scratching against a window. I ask the others, but no one else hears these sounds. Lomar is always a is always checking odd corners for rats. I wonder if he could set a few traps. It might take his mind off Katrina's death. I oft find him staring at the spot where she fell. This place sounds really creepy. I kind of don't want to be here now. <laughs> hmm. Often staring at the spot where Katrina... Katrina died? Katrina fell? What was that? Where she fell. Hmm. Where did she fall? Was it where those boars were placed over? I'm guessing that's probably it. Alright, that goes up. sleeping in here. Hmm, two notes. Cook, Lady Isabella, will be dining with the Count tonight. Milady's favorite dish is baked eels. There should be eels in the larder. If they're slick-looking... If they're slick-looking, snake-like, ropey things, then we have eels. Mr. Whitcomb. Slick-looking, snake-like, ropey things. Yep, that's an eel. <laughs> Cook, stop using water arrows to douse the cook stove. Those are for the guards, for target practice. I thought that was strange that there were water arrows in the kitchen. Seems like a very expensive way to douse the cook stoves. More notes, and a book. And holy shit, four notes and a book? All right, let's get reading. Teresa, or Teresa, or Teresa, I don't know, Teresa, Lady Isabella will be staying in the blue room on the second floor for a few days. Be sure to clean the room before she arrives. Lord Sylvester did not leave it in a fit state when he left. If there's any blood left on the rug, be sure to get it all out. What? Why is there blood on the rug? What exactly did Lord Sylvester do? Wait, why did I just pick that up? Teresa, I'm glad you hid my last year's wages on the windowsill in the inner courtyard. Ain't nobody but you could get up there. We'll leave this place when spring comes. Love and kisses. Last year's wages, wow, an entire year's wages on the windowsill in the inner courtyard. Okay. Teresa, I finally saved enough for uh, to free myself from this life. I hid it in the rafters above the church altar. Nearly fell doing it. That's not how I want to leave this place. Trumbles agreed to let me attend Saturday's execution. While everyone's watching the thief hang, I'll slip away. If something happens to me before Saturday, the purse is yours. Be, be careful retrieving it. 
I'll always remember you. Signed, me. Okay, well, if it's signed to me, then I guess it's supposed to be, uh, like an, a secret love, I guess? Magik? Magik? One disturbing rumor involving Father Grimoire is that he researched and learned to practice... Oh, magic. <laughs> it's an alternative spelling of magic. And this rumor fueled speculation that he, after his death, caused the fire that destroyed the church, and that it was his practice of magic that allowed him to appear as a ghost from time to time. There was even a rumor that the reason the brothers did not remove the church treasure when they left was that Grimoire had woven a spell around the entrance to the treasure. Breaking the spell required returning Grimoire's severed skull to him, and none of the brothers would have had, would have had the courage to do this. Hmm. Returning Grimoire's severed skull to him. This is turning out to be an extremely detailed level. Wow. There's a lot of stuff to do. And so much backstory behind everything. This is such a good mission. Alright, what's this book? And her journal. 215. I'm in love with Hugh Welton, but it seems I've attracted the attention of two others. I must not encourage them, since my heart belongs to Hugh. 225. A new maid has replaced Katrina, the poor dear who fell to her death in the northwest stairwell. Okay, so that was Katrina. And that was the stairwell. Mary's her last name. On her first day, I caught the Count glaring longingly at her. At her. What does he see in her? She's on the homely side. Dear journal, if you ask me. 3-3. Three, three. And now I've spied Lieutenant Trumbull looking at Mary. Why, he's old enough to be her father. Uh, but his... Wait. But, oh, but his is not a look of desire, it's more a look of... Pride? Hugh has become very ill, and Wilking doesn't know if he'll last the week. How can this have happened, after I declared my love for him? Oh dear God, don't take him from me. It's odd that he took sick right after he told me about the key... He found on the bell tower stairs. He was on his way to turn it in to Lieutenant Trumbull when he crossed the Count's path in the church. The Count fell into a horrible rage when Hugh showed him the key, grabbing it and storming into his chambers. Hugh was right glad to get out of the church with his hide intact. 316. I hope Hugh recover recovers. The times we spent in his quiet places were wonderful. We would have we would we would sit and he would show me the pages from the book in the church nave and he would talk about Mr. Whitcomb, teaching him to read. The attic above the dining room is my favorite. The room at the top of the bell tower is too cold. After the north attic above the front hall... Uh, and the north attic above the front hall is too noisy when Afferton's rattling around below, drinking too much and arguing with the shields. Hugh left one of the torn pages with me, saying I would find it interesting. Magic scares me, though I wish I knew of it, to dispel Hugh's illness. This is, this is actually like entering information overload. There's so much to keep track of. So I've got money at the windowsill in the courtyard, something above the rafters in the nave. I'm probably going to forget like half of it. In fact, I already feel like I have forgotten half of it. Okay, I think I've explored everywhere around here. Now, how do I get back to those stairs? Nope. No, that goes up. Up to the bell tower, or the upper floors. Hmm. It's gotta be somewhere over here. Not there. Maybe down there. 
Yeah, I want to say down here. What was that? Something's... Oh, that's the fireplace. Okay. Um, did I read this? I don't think I did. Notice, and this here's the well. Do not piss near it. If caught, Lieutenant Trumbull will put you to hunting owls in the hills. You can piss all you want out there until you freeze to death. Mm, over here? Oh. There's someone here. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, those are the people from upstairs. Alright, can I just like climb over this? He was starting to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, I'm just stuck. Okay. Let's break this. This might be loud. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh god. That must have been where she where she fell. Ugh. Alright, I might be able to get up there if I shot a rope arrow, but there's really no point. Because there's a bunch of other ways I can get up. So let's start doing that. Let's just go up. Storage, well... Okay, yeah, let's just go up. Um, how do I get up? Is it over here? Ooh, that was close. I did not think there was anyone left down here. I thought I was hearing people up above. Okay, yeah, this will take me up. I don't think I've been in here. Yeah, this level, this mission really does have a wonderful attention to detail. I mean, look at this, you got a pile of coal and you even have the coal chute. You got buckets of coal. Ch cheese, for some reason. Wonderfully detailed map. Anything back here? Nope. Okay, level one. Someone's coming. Alright, first floor. Where did I come out at? Um, which am I looking? So I just came from west. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I'll find my way. Hi there. Ah, hmm? oh, this is bad. This is bad. What's bad? Ooh. What is that? Oh, tarot cards. I think. Oh, you cannot put those out with your hands. I guess you need to use a water water arrow. Oh, this would be the same thing. 
Yep. There's something... What was that? There's almost the golden, but I don't think you could steal them because they're mounted to the wall. Oh crap. Look at that floor. Yep. All right, let's use a moss arrow here. What? What was that? Nothing. I can't believe you didn't just see me, but yeah, I'm glad I used a gas arrow. Oops, I just got myself into the gas cloud. That was dumb. Okay. That takes care of that. I don't think this body will get seen. No, if I'm in darkness, then the body should be in darkness. Okay. Two twenty, Bishop. I keep hearing footsteps and it freaks me out. Two twenty, Bishop Wallers and Guard. 3-1, Lady Carrington and Maid. 3-8, Lord Sylvester and Companion. 3-17, Lady Isabella and Maid and Guard and Guard. Alright, I guess it's like a visitor's log. It's gotta be above me. Yep, right above me. Yeah, some of the lighting in this game just looks so good. Like this hallway. It looks beautiful. Alright, that goes up and down. Let's go ahead and take this out. I keep looking for secrets in the toilets, and every time I do that, I think of one of the fallouts, One, I, either Fallout 1 or 2. I can't remember which one, but wasn't there a, a crazy story in one of the towns where you... What did you do? Like, you either blew up the toilet or you went into the toilet and then there was like a blockage under there and you blew that up, and you, like you found something for some old guy, what was it, a watch or something? I don't know, I just remember... Something about a toilet, going into it, leading to a passageway, explosives, and finding an item for someone. And I think of that every time I search toilets in games. Thinking, maybe I'll find something that epic again. It's never happened so far, but it could. You never know.
The fire. 100... 112 years after its construction, Braden Church burned. None present at the time knew how the fire started. Some said Father Grimoire's ghost, unhappy with the direction of the Brotherhood at, Brotherhood at the turn of the new century, decided to punish it. Only the chapel and catacombs were spared, all else reduced to scarred stone walls. The brothers, faced with the massive task of rebuilding in a hostile political climate, decided to dissolve the order. What remained of Braden Church was left to Grimoire's ghost and the brothers interred in the catacombs. It is rumored that the church treasure was left behind. The brothers afraid of incurring the wrath of the dead should they remove it. Acknowledgements. Much research was done to bring the history of Braden Church to light. Bishop Pike of Bridgeport Church kindly opened the church's records to me. Without his help, this history could not have been written. The Lord Regent of the Northern Provinces allowed me access to the church's ruins. In the years since the fire, the elements have scoured all from the site but the original stone walls and the chapel. Though no longer hidden, the entrance mechanism to the catacombs is still operational. Amazingly, plundering of the catacombs has been incomplete. I attribute this to stories of Father Grimoire's ghost watching over... Oh, watching over. That's the end of it. So, there's ghosts. Ghosts and... Oh, oh my god! So many notes! So, there's ghosts and hidden treasure. Perfect. Whitcomb, be sure to have the maid keep the floors and ceilings on the first and second floors clean. Dirt can harbor spiders and general filth. Trumbull's rooms are off limits, and I don't care about the barracks. The staff can clean the cellar if they feel the need, as long as they do it on their own time. Mary is the only maid I trust to clean my rooms. When she's fit again, please see that she attends to them. So many people seem to be crazy about Mary. Whitcomb, Lady Isabella, arrives this afternoon. See the blue room upstairs is made ready for her, and put her maid anywhere. Lady Isabella has had death threats lately, so she's bringing two personal guards. Keep a sharp eye. As house manager, I will have your head should anything un untoward happen. And have you found Lady Carrington's amulet yet? She claims she lost it in the library. Library? Step to it, man, or you'll be buying her a new one. So many things to remember. Okay, so Lady Isabella with two guards is in the blue room. There's something in the... Nave? There's something in a windowsill somewhere? There's lost treasure, and I need to bring the Skull of Grimoire to it to unlock it. Uh, and stuff. Then there's more. Teaching the guard Welton to read is taking longer than planned. <laughs> Yesterday... Whoops. I'm cleaning my glasses while I read this, which is ironic because it makes it harder to read. Yesterday, he revealed he's been tearing pages from the church's history in the nave, trying to read them in his free time. The fool, does he not know that the Count will have his hide for desecrating the manuscript? Welton took sick this morning and might not have long to live. I found one of the pages. Need to find the rest and restore the book before the Count finds out. Tearing pages from a book so that he can read them in his spare time. Wow. That man does not know how to respect a book. Step one to respecting a book. Don't tear out the pages. Okay, there we go. I managed to read it and clean my glasses at the same time. MLG no-scope glass clean. Uh, fuck the map. I know what I'm doing. Because, you know, I have such a great memory, don't I? I keep thinking maybe I can take these pictures, but so far, nope. This wing is closed because of fire damage. If you have business in these rooms, see Lieutenant Trumbull. If you lost items in the fire, you'll have to replace them yourself. If you're looking for someone to be mad at, you'll find Sergeant Jacobs buried in the North Braden Boneyard. Falling asleep on guard duty while smoking put him there. <laughs> oh shit, hi. Wait, what? Hold on. I... Oh. 
I thought. Hmm. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Alright, so the reason I was so confused about that guard is because... On one of my videos, um, Spring Heal, which I think that's his name, one of the one of the creators of the Dark Mod commented on one of my videos and was explaining the whole uh, knockout AI system and when you can knock out an enemy and when you can't. Because I was kind of confused about things like helmets and whether that means you can knock them out or not. And... If I, supposed to be lit. if I remember right, you, I believe he said you can knock out AI that have helmets. Um, what was it? Yeah, I believe it was if they have a helmet and they're unalert, you can knock them out if you hit them from behind. And if they're alert but have no helmet, you can also knock them out but only from behind. If they're alert and they have a helmet, you can't you can't knock them out from any direction. So this guy is unalert, but he has a helmet, so I should be able to knock him out from behind. Well, that was a major fail. So let's try this again. From behind. From behind. There's an intruder here! I'm confused. Maybe it's been modified for this mission, or... I don't know. That was from behind, and he was unalert. I'm confused. Alright, well, I guess for at least this, mi this mission, you can't knock out anyone with a helmet? Did I read this? If you're looking for someone... Yeah, I did. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Okay, that's a creepy place. That looks like a... That looks like a ghost. What's happening? What's happening? Greetings, friend. May the master bless you in your travels. Should you find my lost skull, if you would return it to my remains, I would be eternally grateful. And you? would be rewarded. If I was living in a place and I knew something like this was in it, I would move out and burn down the building. Alright, I'm gonna leave now. Hello, key. Acquired Trumbull's bedroom key. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck with this person like I fucked with the last person who had two boots. Now he's only going to have one boot, and the other will be melted and burned in the fire. Figure that one out, whoever occupies this room.
it's a uh, what do you call these things? Um, God, what's what's their name? It's something really strange. Ah, I can't remember. Trumbull's journal. What do you have to say, Trumbull? I'm gonna hide in the corner while I read it. Mary has come to work here as a servant. There's no work elsewhere in town, and she's been alone since her mother died. Over the years, I've wondered if I should reveal that I'm her father. Okay, I was thinking from the previous notes that it sounds like maybe he was her, her dad. And that is indeed true, but I'm not someone a young girl can easily look up to. I didn't want to cause her unneeded grief should I one day turn up dead. I regret the things I've done, but I don't have the means to make amends. I pray for God's forgiveness, especially now that Mary is near. Mary is doing well in the household. She's impressed Whitcomb with her cleaning skills. Oh, that's what it's called. It's called a bureau. I don't know why I just remembered that. Mary has a... Bew? What the hell is that? Uh, Percival, the innkeeper's son. Though the lad is daft, I've heard Mary is dazzled by him. <laughs> the lad is daft. Well, that sounds great. Sounds like the start to a beautiful relationship. As her father, I must keep an eye on this and interfere only if necessary. Harkoff asked me to kill the innkeeper's son and make it look like an accident. He wouldn't say why. I refused. Mary's in love with the boy, and I'm done with killing. Why has the boy drawn Harkoff's ire? Harkoff wants Bascom's head. The reward is a gold bar, but Harkoff ordered me not to deal with the matter. Uh, ordered me not to deal with the matter myself. I don't think he wants the gold bar to come my way. If I knew where he's hidden it, I'd snatch it, reveal myself to Mary, and whisk her away to a better life elsewhere. Percival died in a hunting accident. Harkoff? I have thought more about finding and taking the gold, but that would mean killing Harkoff to keep him from seeking revenge. I pray to God for a sign of what I should do. Perhaps there's an answer in the prayer book on the church altar. Wilton, Wilton took sick. Gave me his gold for safekeeping. Passed it to Wilkins in the infirmary. If Wil if Wil if Wilton doesn't make it, I'll forward the money to his family in Bridgeport. No objective. What? Trumbull's looking for a sign from God. Has Harkov done something to give Trumbull a reason to kill him? Find evidence and drop it on Trumbull's bed. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what that would do. Trumbull, Lady Isabella, arrives today with her maid and two elite female guards. She's had death threats recently, so I want ironclad security. Keep your guards away from the maid. We don't want a repeat of what happened two weeks ago with Lady Carrington's maid. And tell them to keep their hands off Lady Isabella's guards. I don't need your men... Wintering in the infirmary. Bags of money. I'll take it. What the hell is that? Looks demonic. Bridgeport City Watch, Station 5. Hmm. It's been stamped. Oh, it's a delivery of swords. Trumbull. It's disgraceful that someone tearing the pages out of the... Uh, that someone's tearing the pages out of the church history book in the nave. Bishop something Bridgeport Church... Le God, this, is, this font is really hard to read. Loaned me that book only last week, and I'll be damned if a lowly guard or servant is going to bring the builders down on me. Find who's doing this, but before you hang him over the ramparts, 
have him tell you where the missing pages are and bring them to me. Well, that guard's in trouble. And he was just trying to learn how to read. Trumbull, I have business in town tonight and will return when possible. I've taken Malcolm and Tearson with me. Or Kearson? I, I don't know. This font's weird. Ooh, wow, holy crap. Well, I don't need to be stingy with my arrows anymore. Oh my god. Well, these are all broadheads, so I'm not going to use them, but still. Alright, I should be able to knock you out. Right? <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. Oh my god, so many notes! There will be a public execution by hanging of the murderous thief of uh, Philip or Philippe Gray this Saturday on the North Commons in Braden. The house can spare one man to accompany me to this hanging. If you wish to go, let me know. Oh, someone's coming. There's no way they'll find that suspicious. I mean, that just looks like someone looks like someone sleeping. Oh, God. Um... Go fast. Don't go there. Here we go. I believe you had a key on you, didn't you? Did I grab it? No, I did not. Armory key. Oh, you're gonna have a nice sit, are you? Well, that works out pretty well for me. <laughs> I love the ragdoll physics. Okay, I should be safe in here. Dagger note. Whoops. Dagger note. Where was that? There it is. Let me get out of light. Good thing the Count had me go on that job the other night. I brought back what he wanted, and picked up a little so a little something for myself. Or me-self, as it says. Serves Lord Chambers right, passing out behind the Wailing Wolf like that. He was really soused. What? So it'll be a while before he misses his gold dagger and ceremonial wine bottle. I found safe places for them in the north attic above the front hall. Nobody goes up there. Yet another place for secret special loot. Another place I'll probably forget. Oh, somebody's been practicing their archery. I'm 
I'm sorry to hear you're leaving. Be careful. We did have fun, didn't we? Teresa. Why would somebody be hoarding gold plates? This is the sleeping quarters for things like guards and... I would assume maids and stuff? The barbarians, during a period of devastating famine... Or fam... famine... famine... A plague of northern barbarians descended upon the church. The brothers fought off the invaders, killing many. Wounded barbarians were put into the care of the infirmers. When well enough to travel, they were sent away with bread and cheese. Fearing future attacks, Father Grimoire had an escape tunnel built off the infirmary and a mechanism installed to hide the entrance to the catacombs. Should the church ever fall to returning barbarians, the tunnel would allow the living to escape, and the mechanism would hide the dead. Research has unearthed the workings of the mechanism, allowing me access to the catacombs so I could map them and take inventory. Father Grimoire passes. A year after the barbarian attack, Father Grimoire fell ill with a disease that deformed his features. The infirmers failed in his uh, failed in his attempts to save the good father. Grimoire was interred in the cat interred in the catacombs. Documents in the Bridgeport Church archives claim Grimoire's head was buried separately, out of fear that the disfiguring disease would spread to the rest of his body, even after death. The only reference in these documents to the head's burial site was the phrase, "A grim thing, it is we do, but only two chambers lie between yourself and yourself." Okay, so there's only two chambers between where his body was buried and where his head was. Hmm. The Order commissioned a statue of Father Grimoire for the chapel. Now, where was he buried? I'll have to go find it. Um. Is it here? It's somewhere there. I don't know. I'll find it. Alright, that'll take me up, or down. Alright, there should be some snow out here. First time I've seen snow in this game. <coughs> Looks like this too will take me to the next level. Alright, you have a helmet, so I don't think I can knock you out. Well, I mean, I could use a gas arrow, I suppose. We don't want too many shadows. Oh, he's just gonna relight it, isn't he? Ah, bastard! You can even see their their breath. That is so cool. So much detail. Yoink. Well, I'm going to hell. Alright, wasn't there something hidden in like the courtyard? Or something? Alright, I think I've already been here. Yeah, I've already been here. Uh, I think it might be time to go up. Maybe. Let's see what's over here. <laughs> 